have this ecstatic experience where they, um, it's a real specific kind of, of, of entity, but that entity has become the long term for any sort of like nature-based theology or whatever, and it's become an ism, you know, that there is a shamanism. And I'm, you know, from where I stand, I'm like, uh, bullshit. Call it, what, you know, call it what it is, but don't call it that because that's a real specific thing. If you're going to come up with something, maybe give it a new name, you know? Um, I, I don't appreciate, like, people talking about the spirituality that I've experienced and lump it into the term shamanism. It has nothing to do with shamanism. And uh, this piece has everything to do with the idea of taking all of these different kind of indigenous belief patterns and binding them together and creating um, this, like, plastic shamanism. You know, this kind of, like, artificial... Uh, binding of totally different things. Like, I don't want to take the power away from somebody's spiritual experience, but I don't want to be associated with it um, just by being Native American. Um, I, I have my own trip, and it is not called shamanism. And, uh, and I know there's a lot of Native people out there, too, that um, profit off of that same thing, where they're like, 300 bucks, I'll put you in the sweat and give you a name. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's ugly. I think, in my opinion, I think it's ugly, and um, I think like that idea of uh, of shamanism has been um, kind of reinforced and created by that like misuse of dialogue and, and removal of, of context to these um, spiritual objects and uh, ideas, and it's been such a long game of telephone that just about anything flies as long as you tie it to a sage bundle or put a crystal on it, you know? Um, that was that was my thinking in this, and like I said, I might offend a few people on it, but I've been plenty offended myself. So this was the piece that I built in uh, response to that, response to the um, spiritual aspect of native culture as something that can be borrowed and appropriated and used out of context and um, shared and sold. Is this ungodly? Uh, crystal arrow with a turquoise peace symbol on it. <laughs> oh, man. Um, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. The back, it's, you know, it's got this perception dollar. It says, follow your heart. The unfolding states of awareness. It's like this weird dollar that I found. It's super new agey. Um, it's got this kind of a, my version of the plastic shaman here. And he's uh, communicating on his cell phone with a feather tied to it to prove that it's super Indian. And he's got two mouths, so he's speaking out both sides of his face. His heart has um, a, uh, what's his name, Jefferson? He's got Jefferson on it. Um, that kind of like, one of the little jokes with it is that the level of uh, spirituality that's expected from Native peoples is like, like, Oh my God! I can't talk to animals. I can't do it. I, am, I, I want. I want to be able to talk to the animals, and I can't. And uh, you know that there is. I'm sure there's somebody out there who can, honestly. But I don't want to be confused as that guy. You know what I'm saying? I totally am not that guy. So that level of like instant spirituality of, of being Native American is so far out of reach that I I thought it was important to put this unicorn with a rainbow coming out of its ass um, onto the heart of the shaman as like a symbol of how how far beyond reality that is, you know what I'm saying? That I'm not this mystical being. <clears throat> I was so disappointed when I turned like 12 years old and I was like, I still can't talk to animals. But um, anyway, that was learned and this is that piece, you know. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, any, any, anything anybody wants to add to that? Experience? Crash him. I know, I know, totally. Somebody say crash me. Crash him. Oh, crash him. Destroy it. Yeah. Ow. I'm so afraid to drop this.